What's up guys, it's Mike from RPM, the creators of the Rome set. Welcome to our ghetto fabulous studio. Don't expect any bells and whistles here. We're not influencers, we're not movie producers, but we are good at what we do. The purpose of this video today is to discuss the Starlink Gen 2 actuated model and the brand new Gen 3 standard non-actuated model uh, that just came out recently and how these apply to the Rome set. Uh, before I get started, I wanna address some issues that we've been having recently with some scam accounts. Guys, the only place to buy a Rome set is romesat.com. You can email us info at romesat.com. You can follow us on Instagram at romesat, um, but romesat.net, rome.sat, rome underscore sat. It's all bullshit. They're all scam accounts. Um, don't fall for the low price. Don't fall for the payment to Jenny865309 at yahoo.com. You'll probably figure it out when you realize that they have no idea what they're talking about. They can barely speak English. They're gonna pressure you into a sale. Guys, don't fall for it. It's all bullshit. They just steal our content, our pictures, whatever, and we'll see where this video ends up. But at any rate, uh, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so we got the Gen 2 actuated model here. We got the Gen 3 standard non-actuated model here. In the US, they're both $599. Uh, we've been getting lots of emails if we're coming out with a Rome sat for the Gen 3. What's better, what's faster, size, so on and so forth. So yeah, the answer is we will be coming out with a Rome sat for the Gen 3 only because we don't know how long until they phase out the Gen 2 actuated model. Um, it's my personal opinion that this, when modified, is gonna be a better fit, it's more compact, it's more portable. Um, for TSA travel, if you were to remove the battery out of the RoamSat and power it with a 12 volt auxiliary cable, you could take the RoamSat, carry on, it's within the measurements. This uh, new Gen 3, no way. It's three inches longer, it's three inches wider, it's approaching the high performance uh, dish sizes. Um, Really, in terms of a flat mount insulation, which is what we are here to provide, um, this dish is no better than the Gen 2. It's actually worse because it's bigger. Uh, in terms of Starlink and their bottom line, it's a no-brainer of why they went this way. As you can see, the packaging, it's much smaller. So for inventory, for warehouse, for shipping, um, no internal motors, less components, less warranty issues. This one, it's a no-brainer, um, but for us, yeah, I mean, I'm not overly thrilled about it, but you know, we'll dive into it a little bit deeper and I'll show you the differences. All right, guys, so the pros and cons on the Gen 2. Well, unfortunately, most of the cons fall on our shoulders. It's a lot of extra work and liability to cut this thing in half. We need to remove the motors. We need to reuse the network cabling. It's proprietary. There's uh, special ends. Um, let's say you're an existing Starling customer that wants to use your dish and convert it to a Rome sat. Well, unfortunately, you need to send us your dish. We need to reuse the cable. We need to re-terminate it. We need to cut your dish in half. Then we need to test everything to have assurance that everything was done properly and it works fine. You're not gonna have any issues when you get it. So um, for existing customers, definitely logistically, it's a pain in the ass. Fortunately now for new customers, new Starlink customers, we're able to supply original Starlink dishes unregistered for retail prices. When you receive your Rome sat, you go on the Starlink website, you activate it and you're all said and done. So. That's pretty cool, but for uh, existing customers, definitely a pain in the ass. The other thing, this voids your warranty. Whether that's important to you or not, I'm not sure. We've never seen one go bad, but nonetheless, it does void your warranty. But with everything said and done, uh, I think the pros far outweigh the cons with this. It's a much smaller package than the Gen 2. Keep in mind that this is already within the enclosure, so you'd have to subtract one inch on every dimension. So two inches on your length, two inches on your width. This is definitely smaller. Um, when this is completely assembled with the battery, the enclosure, the mounts, router, everything, it's 22 pounds. It's extremely light, it's extremely portable, it's the size of a briefcase. If you wanna travel with it, it fits within the TSA requirements of 22 inches. Unfortunately, you can't travel with the battery, but if you remove the battery, it reduces the weight from 22 pounds to 14 pounds, and this thing's like a feather. Um, you'll just need to supply it with 12 volt or 110 volt whenever you get to wherever you're traveling, but nonetheless, uh, the speeds are gonna be the same between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3. You're gonna save three inches of real estate um, on both dimensions by staying with the Gen 2. Um, you really have nothing to lose, but everything to gain. So in our opinion, the Gen 2 for the portability factor is definitely your winner. Um, I'll show you about the Gen 3. All right, so Gen 3, as you can see from the factory, this thing's extremely thin, but it's still a half inch thicker than the Gen 2 after we modify it. The biggest difference here is the overall size. Like I said, three inches longer, three inches wider. When you put this inside of a sealed enclosure, you're gonna add two inches to both the length and width. You're gonna start approaching the high performance dish size. So in terms of portability, mobility, carrying it around like a briefcase, this guy is not gonna be it. We care about two things, performance and size. 
This does nothing over the Gen 2 dish, but that's not to say that there are no benefits to it. Um, I'll tell you about some of those right now. Alrighty, so there's two main benefits to the Gen 3 dish. The first is that we don't need to modify it, so it's not gonna avoid your warranty. It gets us one step closer to offering a DIY kit. Uh, we'll basically be able to build a Rome set. We'll be able to test it with one of our dishes, ship it to you, you'll take your dish, you'll plug in your network cable, you'll bolt on the lid, it's gonna be good to go. It'll be turnkey, streamlines the process, that's gonna be super nice. The second is let's say you don't care about the extra couple inches, maybe you're considering the high performance dish, you're gonna mount it on more of a semi-permanent installation. Uh, this is gonna be a viable option. It's gonna run off a 12 volt DC power, so it's gonna be more efficient. You don't have to worry about the inverters, you don't have to worry about the extra power supply and hardware um, that you would with the high performance dish. And it's gonna open up your monthly billing plan. So it'll allow you to pick the unlimited data on land and then just pay for your priority data when you go offshore fishing. You're not gonna be locked in to priority data like you would on the high performance dish. So that's gonna be pretty nice. Let's say you wanna have the faster speeds on land. It is a prioritized system. You can just toggle your data with the priority uh, data. You'll pay for it, but it's gonna be faster than the standard data. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, in that situation, uh, this isn't gonna be a bad option. Uh, all right, so if you're one of those guys who has a Gen 2, but we're worried about missing out on the performance of a Gen 3, well, don't sweat it, there is none. Um, if you want the most mobile, portable, easy to carry around package, the Gen 2 modified is the choice. If you don't wanna void your warranty and you don't mind losing the extra couple inches, the Gen 3 is gonna be a good option for you. So either way, we got you covered. Thanks for watching, appreciate the support. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, at RomeSat. We got a lot of extra new accessories and products that we're coming out with, so uh, stay tuned.